Erica with Rosie Research and in this video we are going to learn how to make an LED fairy house. So this is a great science meets art project for kids who love science and art. We got this little kit that was just to paint offline. Um, they're pretty cheap that you can get online. They often come with the paint stuff. And then we just wired it up so that when you press this little button there's a little light that goes on. We have a rainbow flashing light, but you can choose any kind of LED that you want. And the way it works is we have an LED chandelier hanging on the inside, and then these wires come across onto a battery. And then I have two pieces, one's always on the battery, and this top piece, when I put it on the battery, is when that LED lights up. And then if you have a bigger house, you can decide, you can put little friends in there, um, and you can do whatever you want. So my four-year-old decorated this and helped me figure out how we were going to do the wires. So what I'm going to show you today is how you can make this for yourself. Now, you can either get a kit that's pre-made like ours, or you can find like little tiny kits like this that are going to be at the dollar store. So these are sort of fun because they're really cheap and easy. The other things you're going to need is an LED, whatever color you're going to want to put into your house. You're going to need a little battery. So these are called coin cell batteries. This is a CR2032 battery. You can get them for about 3 or $4 at the grocery store, but you can get packs of 100 for $15 on Amazon. So if you're going to do a lot of LED projects, get the huge set of this. Um, and then you always want to test that things work. So when I plug in my battery, my LED goes on. You'll notice if I don't put it in the right way, nothing happens here. And that's because LEDs are like slides or one-way streets. So electrons are really good rule followers. They make light when they go down the slide and they say, Wee! and they have lots of fun. But if they're at the bottom of the slide, they're gonna look at the slide and just not know what to do because they know that they're not supposed to go up the slide. So here, when we attach the long leg of the LED, to the positive side of the battery, that's the side that has writing on it, and then the short leg to the bottom of the battery, we've put the slide in the right direction. That is, we have a higher piece of our slide or our potential on the top of the battery and a lower on the bottom, and then the, the electrons can slide down the slide and light up. You always wanna check that this stuff works before you get into your project because it's really frustrating if you have a bad battery or a bad LED and your project doesn't work. So you need an LED and a battery, and then you'll need some wires. I got these fun wires that are called male to female wires. So they have one male side and they have one female side. And this is really nice because what I can do is I can plug the legs of the LED into the female sides. And that's kind of making a nice connection with these wires. And again, we can test it so we can put the long leg onto the long side, and the short leg onto the short, on the bottom of the battery, and our LED lights up just like it should. So that's good. This is the wires that we're going to use in our little house. And you'll notice all we've done with these wires, and this is all wires ever do, is we've increased the length of the legs. So here in our house, we wanted our battery on the outside and our chandelier on the inside, but our LED legs didn't reach. And so what we need is some sort of nice long extender. And so this is a nice long extender. It's easy for kids to visualize that this is now really long legs, so you're attaching the same pieces to this battery. So once you have that, you've got a lot of the circuit part done, and you just need to make this piece. Now, these guys are at the dollar store. They come all ready for you. Um, to use and then all you gotta do is put them together. They have the glue inside of them if you want to. We're gonna use hot glue just because it makes everything go a little bit faster. But everything you need, including the white glue, comes with it. This is a great little engineering project. What I love about the dollar store ones versus sort of these pre-made kits is not only can you paint it and decorate it and add the circuit, but you also get to build it, which is really cool. So, I'm going to build this real fast, and then we will get to the circuit wiring. Alright, so I have made most of my birdhouse now. You'll notice I didn't put the second set of the roof on, 
And that's because I'm gonna want to add all of my wires and my wiring. So I have my LED that's been tested. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add some hot glue to this so that that can't come out because that would be a big bummer if that could come out and it stopped working. So we'll just add a little bit of glue here to keep that nice end together. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna figure out where do we want to put it. If you wanted to put it on the outside of the house, that's totally fine. That just means you didn't, you could have put the whole roof on. If you want to put it inside the house, you are going to want to make sure you add it before the whole roof is on, because otherwise you don't have very many places to add your wiring. So once this glue dries, I'm probably just going to stick it straight down here, maybe so it can act as a nice little chandelier, and we'll use glue and we can glue down these wires to where we want them to be. I'm gonna put our battery on the back like this. And you'll notice I've used a red and a black wire. And I used the normal convention where red is high or hot. So red is connected to the long leg of my LED and black is low or ground. And so that's the short leg. And when I get to my battery, we'll put the red onto the positive side with the writing and the black onto the back. All right, so this is all glued now. So what I can do is I can hot glue this in and I can take these wires and I can move them around however I want to. So it looks like I'm going to have a little excess wiring. I could even maybe put this onto the back. Um, sort of up to you how you want to do that. So we're going to just first we'll add a little dab of glue here to add that guy in just like this. And this is nice because there's a little screw, an eyelet screw, that you can add in to make it hang. So this is sort of a fun project. You could put it outside or you could use it as a nightlight. If you use it as a nightlight, I don't suggest the rainbow flashing. Um, that can be a, get a little tough as a nightlight. As we've learned in our house, it's a little distracting. And so you're just going to start slowly gluing to wherever you want to go. And again, Parents, this doesn't need to look perfect. Kids love their art projects to look like what they've actually done. It means more to them if it looks ridiculous, but they did it, than if you do the whole thing and it looks great. So just keep that in mind when you're doing it. So I'm just slowly gluing this around. It depends on how good your kids are with glue guns, on whether or not you want them to be gluing it on their own. Um, that's just definitely a parent sort of comfort level. I will say kids do learn really quickly with glue guns because once you burn yourself once, you don't want to burn yourself again. So there's sort of that, that's kind of a nice thing. So here I'm just adding glue lines and gluing these wires down to make it look really nice. Now from here, I could either go around the edge to the bottom or I could bend it and come back up, which is what I think I'm gonna do. I'm gonna bend it like this so that black will be on the bottom of my battery and then red can go on the top. And I'm gonna leave the red not attached to my battery so that it can be the switch. When it hits the top, it's all good. So we're gonna put this like here, just like that. We can test that it works. And we notice that it does work. Testing is always really important at every stage of the game when you do circuits. Um, because it's really frustrating when you get there and something doesn't work and you don't know what it is that's not working. That's a big bummer. So if you test at every stage, you can easily backtrack and say, but it worked just a moment ago, what's different now? And that's a great way to sort of problem solve. All right. So now I'm gonna glue this red guy also like this. And we'll have to glue our battery on too because we don't wanna lose our battery. When you glue the battery, you just wanna make sure you're not gluing underneath the connection between the negative side and the black wire that's sticking out. So you want to glue somewhere where it's not going to get that. But you just want it to stay in place. 
And then of course, once you do that, you want to test and make sure that your light is working. And here it is, which is great. I'm going to add a little bit more glue on the other side of my battery too, just to make sure it's good. Just like that. My glue doesn't look super great, but that's okay. It doesn't need to look super great. We're going to decorate things. If you want to, that can end up being another sort of aspect to the project is making it look really good. But for younger kids especially, you just want the project to be, can we do this? Can we figure out how to put together a birdhouse? Can we figure out how to um, make an LED light? Can we figure out a good way to wire it up? And you'll notice if you look closely, I've just wired it, so all I've got to do is press this little button back here and my LED turns on, which is nice. And now I'm ready, if you want to put the rest on, I'm ready to add in my other pieces to my roof. And now we have a fun little LED fairy house. You can pretty easily sort of move things over around in it um, so that if you need to get your finger in there, you can. This is a great place for kids to either store like Legos, maybe it's like the Lego Batman house and they've got cool disco ball for your Lego Batman to dance around. Or maybe it's got some little teeny tiny My Little Ponies or unicorns in there and it's a fairy house for girls. Um, so this makes it accessible to girls and boys. I would suggest making your house to whatever their interest is. So if they love horses, if they love Legos, if they love, um, I don't know, people who are like fighting or fairies, anything like that, dolls, you can make it into something fun for them that they want to do. That makes it accessible to every family member. We have a little eyelet screw that you can just put a dab of glue because our pieces aren't totally together anymore because we have those wires coming out. But you could just hold it up like that and then you can hang it. So I hope this was a lot of fun for you guys to do with us. I really hope you enjoy doing your little DIY fairy house. These supplies for this little one probably cost about $2 because I did get the good bulk rate for the, the battery, um, the wires are a few pennies, the LEDs are a few pennies, and then the birdhouse itself was a dollar. So it's a great choice for a simple, cheap, summer fun project that integrates art and science. So if you want to see more of our activities, check out our online blog or you can support us through Teachers Pay Teachers and Patreon. It was great to have you with us today and I can't wait to see you next time.